All right, Grant, thank you. Well, today's total solar eclipse brought a diverse group of visitors from all over the world here to the heartland. Hank Cavanero is live in the studio to tell us more about that tonight, Hank. Well, Marianne, from football stadiums to scientists and even Ozzy Osbourne, everyone was trying to get their chance to see this special event. All eyes were looking up this afternoon, trying to catch the moon, blocking out the sun. But it didn't last long here on the edge of Carbon Day. Same story at SIU's Saluki Stadium. This is a nice family thing to do. So yeah, we're just super excited to, to be here and to, yeah, to experience it with this huge crowd of people. I thought it was really cool because it's not going to happen again for a while. But for one, he was catching his 10th solar eclipse. The amount of hope that people had, the, the cheering for it as it was happening, it, it was just spectacular. Move your head around. And on the Missouri side. Yeah. See how it's a bigger telescope? An educational experience in Houck Stadium for hundreds of school children. I know. I think it was a neat event for all the kids to come out and see today. I thought it was awesome. When it was total totality, I was just amazed. It even brought in world-renowned scientists to the heartland. And it's perhaps the greatest event that the human race has seen communally on the internet and television. Wow. The most widely viewed event. Some, however, got the chance to see Ozzy Osbourne. It was the coolest thing, and to say that I got to experience it here with the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne himself, it was by far one heck of an experience. While Ozzy might not be back in 2024, the eclipse will be coming back to Carbondale.